Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron. I want to talk to us just a little bit about biblical archaeology. Now, I'm not talking about, I do a podcast, Biblical Archaeology Today, Steve Waldron, available on Spotify, some other places. But I'm just talking about biblical archaeology in general. And it is such a confirmation of the faith. A lot of recent finds, like the Isaiah seal, the real prophet Isaiah seal, in all probability, Gideon's jar handle, Jerubal, the name of Gideon, from the same century Gideon's from, Elisha finding uh, Elisha, quite possibly his house, and, uh, you know, inscriptions with the name Elisha, which was a very rare name. There's only been like seven instances in the, the centuries either side of this find from the, uh, the century that was there. Peter's house being discovered, um, upper room being discovered, early church in the first century AD being discovered, um, ossuaries from before 45 AD saying Jesus is the name of the Father on one ossuary. Jesus is the Lord. He's God on another one. Probably Bar Sabbath mentioned in Scripture. His ossuary being found before 45 AD. And, you know, Jesus, James, John the Baptist being mentioned in Josephus. Uh, Jesus being mentioned numerous times in the first century, early second century. Uh, massive churches underground in Turkey, like a 65,000 uh, member church underground from the second century um, in Turkey. It's like a city underground because they literally had to meet underground. Trajan and Pliny talking about they sing hymns to Jesus as unto God. Um, the Talmud mentioning Jesus, Mishnah mentioning Jesus, the Armageddon Church, 235 A.D., saying Jesus, or some people say 225 A.D., Jesus is God, dedicated by a Roman soldier in front of a communion table. There's so much biblical archaeology out there, besides just some of like the seven churches of Revelation being found in Rome and, and uh, so many things. Um, the uh, inscription, the grave robbing inscription, uh, the Nazareth decree, it's called from 48 AD, saying, you know, don't rob graves here. Well, that's obviously an allusion to Jesus Christ. Again, there's so much in biblical archaeology that confirm our faith from earliest times, multiple mentions of the flood. Michael Heiser, among so many others, bring this out, which I disagree with some Heiser stuff, but he's very good on that, that, you know, you have uh, the Sumerian Noah, Utnapishtim, just on and on and so forth. Even the recent finds that like Paleo-Hebrew come from uh, hieroglyphs and it was the first consonantal language and possibly, maybe even probably created by Joseph and Manasseh. So tons of stuff like that. They think they found where Sodom and Gomorrah is. A lot going on in biblical archaeology. So hop on either our podcast, Biblical Archaeology Day, with uh, Steve Aldrin, or maybe some others like Sergio and Rhoda, uh, Expedition Bible here on YouTube, several associates of biblical research. God bless. We love you. The Bible is true. We'll see you. Bye-bye.